Welcome to the Recovery Room, where we give you the tools you need to help change your relationship with how you feel, because how you feel matters. So the thing we started with is origin story. So describe origin story. Origin story. Yeah. So like, tell me background, like describe to me what, what were you like when you're eight years old? Nine years old. What were you doing? What yeah. are things you're into? Where are you? What's life like? So, yeah, I was born in Ukraine, Odessa. Me too. Moved to to Utah, Salt Lake City. Wow. And was yeah, grew up there until ten years old. So, about seven, eight years old. Man, just loved to play outside. Everything we did all day with my older brother was outside. That's awesome. Just older sibling. What's family yeah. like? You have an older sibling. So Who else? We have a family of four. Yeah, mom, dad, my older brother, and myself. That's awesome. How much older so is your brother? He's three years older. Oh, okay, so you're yeah. close. That's awesome. So we were close growing up. It was good. Uh, always, I guess, trying to rough me up. So that's how we're. Hey, there's <laughs> yeah. toughness that's built there. Exactly. My sister's seven years younger than me. I promise you, I had a lot to do with how tough she is. <laughs> yeah. She didn't have a choice. Yeah. I was also outside the whole time. Like for me, it was like I needed a buddy, and she was a girl, and now she can throw football really well. She ended up being a great volleyball player, like nice. all of those things because of the way I tortured her. Yeah. So I get it. That's true. They'll get it. So um, the the you're a professional soccer player. The, the when, when did the first thought of like, hey, I might want to do this professionally come around? Is this something, was it a dream um, always? Actually, I just like, I loved all sports growing up. So I played basketball, American football, soccer, a little bit of baseball. And I was into gymnastics and karate too. Wow. So yeah, doing a lot. Um, but... For soccer, just I always was able to really score a lot of goals. So I guess. So was, so was it your favorite? What's your favorite sport? Um, what was it? Man, I really like basketball. Honestly, <laughs> that's my favorite too. I probably probably because you score so much. Yes. You know, so you get the that back feeling. and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's endorphins. It's 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 a yeah. it's a do- it's just the feel good endorphins. Exactly. You, that's what you. Yeah, I totally get that's it. Probably what it was. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Like I like the 24 second shot clock. Like that means something's gonna happen. Yeah. And it, and it, and in one minute you can make so much happen. It's crazy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah but that's really cool. Um, so at what age did you become a pro? I turned pro at 18. Okay. I um, left. College to go overseas and Where play were you with, in college? Uh, I pl- stayed one year at Stetson University. Stetson, yeah. In Florida. Uh-huh. So yeah, after the freshman year, I did really well. Um, got a, some contacts with Zen at St. Petersburg and was yeah. able to go wow. over there. So Wow. That's yeah. awesome. Now, since this is a recovery room podcast, yeah. describe to me, so your first year as a pro, you're just starting. What's recovery look like? What's How would you define recovery at that time? Yeah. Um, over there, actually, it's quite uh, quite modern, honestly. They had um, already like a local cryo, local cryo there. Awesome. So I was pretty impressed with that. Yeah. I didn't really, um, didn't ever see it mm-hmm. before, didn't know about mm-hmm. it. So, but little by little, like it grew, you know, oh, yeah. I guess before recovery was just more stretching. All you do is like yourself physically, what you stretch. I mean, maybe a little bit of exercise to strengthen, but overall just stretching. Yeah. And, and actually over there is they're big on massages. Sure. So like if you need a massage, they have three masseuses. Anyone, you take them, what, what, what you need, yeah, they that's massage Yeah, one of our biggest misconceptions is one of the questions we get the most is what's the best? And we're yeah. like, guys, it's things that work. We just chose these things to go after and really focus on. Right. There's so many things that work. And that's actually one of the things we're trying to do with the podcast is open up people's eyes into like the number one focus shouldn't be sign up for a membership for cryotherapy. The number yeah, one focus is how you're sleeping. Are you hydrating? What kind of food are you putting in your body? Like those are the things to focus on. And then if you need more, if you're pushing your body more, then what are the things are you doing? Are you doing soft tissue? Are you doing massage? Right. There, there's so many things that work. No, I agree. Yeah. Um, so describe to me when you signed with the Indy 11, we're, we're one of the partners. So I have to tell people for the podcast, we pay you to be yeah. here. So, so uh, tell me when you first visit our facility, where your thoughts were, does do you feel like it really adds? What is your version of that? Yeah. No, I was By the way, uh, honesty. Not, yeah, yeah. not this is not a sales pitch. We just no, want the no, truth. No, definitely. Good. I was pleasantly surprised, honestly, because even um, and the bigger clubs that I've been at, like they didn't have the the things that the recovery room has and the the options, like all in one spot. You know. Yeah. We did have like they got to get the big crowd, but you had to drive different places, sure. then go there, then go there. So sure. all everything in one place is definitely like. Yeah, the, the best thing about it. Yeah, I, I think there's when people ask us like, there's nothing special about what we do. We just it, it's all of these things individually. You put them all in one room, yep. and they're all fantastic. Exactly. And then you combine it, and you give people choices. And now, a simple way to use the facility, and it completely changes the way you do it. So, 
initially when you first started coming in, your wife came with you a few times, and now your wife is a paying member of our facility. Yeah. So what what are what are the same things that she's saying? What are no, I just I think everybody it, it's good to do a little research too, you know. Amen. Don't don't just go because uh, do something maybe it's a trend or something. Yeah. Like you definitely have to see see what's oh, it about yeah. in in terms for yourself. We just read about it, did some studying, and it's more than just like for uh, athletes, you know. Absolutely. It's it's for everyone. Like I think the the, the, the trick we only have thirty five percent of our clients that are athletes. Yeah. And the rest are people dealing with everyday life things. Exactly. It's incredible. So I think just like mostly we go there because of cryo, obviously, sure. but the the flow tank is something more psychological, I think. The sauna is just nice to relax if you have like long days, you know. So, it's a, so since you brought up the psychological part of the recovery, how big of a deal is that to you? Yeah. For uh, the older I get, honestly, that's for me the number one spot right now because physically like pretty much everybody's at the same level of athletes you know maybe someone is faster maybe someone's a stronger but in the end like how strong you are mentally and if you're able to recover maybe you know a, a bad loss you're able to recover from from that big deal with help like the uh neuro spa thing that just makes you relax the same thing with the flow whatever works for you i, I think that's like huge huge Benefit for, benefit for athletes. Yeah, no doubt. To... Listen, the, the psychological aspect of things, knowing that a thought that you have or could be continuously having could turn into cortisol, a chemical releasing in your body that if it stays on a drip can do so much physical harm and it could prevent you from sleeping, which will prevent you from hormone regeneration. Like there's so many right. things that happen there that we couldn't agree more. When when we built the second facility, we didn't want to deal with the flow, the water anymore. We wanted to simplify our operation. Yeah. But in terms of what float pods and what floating generally does for people, we cannot be bigger proponents of it's it's not just a magnesium, but this mental part, I think it's so underrated. And yeah. when we when we get asked like what 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 we think is like special, I, I think the thing that people underestimate the most is most people don't do anything positive for themselves period. Yeah. They've decided that this is how they feel. This is how they want to feel the rest of their life or like there's just no options. And the only thing we want to do is spread the awareness that like there's things you can do. You, if you're curious enough, if you're one of those people that feels that way, but wants to go discover some new stuff, we feel like if we do a good job promoting it, people at least will try. And that's really our biggest thing. Yeah. Once people do a little bit of digging and then they try it, it's so easy for them to make a decision. That's why for us, it's never sales. It's just yeah. try it. Tell us what you think. And we just know what's going to do. We just know. Yeah. And, and that mental aspect of just people knowing, hey, I have a membership here. That means once a week, twice a week. When I feel like I need it, I can go do something for me. It could be three minutes. It could be an hour and a half. It's whatever I can fit in that day. Yeah. And it's such a, I think it's psychologically one of the biggest keys. Now, injury. You're dealing with something recently. Surgery. Yeah. Tell us about that. Um, so, yeah, just... Back in March, I uh, tore my tendon off of my bone, so pretty, pretty severe injury. But I mean, just trying to, like, like you said earlier, it's it's a balance of everything, you know. Like, I can't just uh, do rehab therapy without other things. So, with having the recovery room is is amazing for me at this point. Yeah. I was almost every day in there for cryo, local, everything. Good. So it's just like just the whole balance in general. And then that's what I said earlier too. Going back to it, is when you come to a place and you have everything. That's a big, a big benefit for, for a spot like you, the yeah. recovery room. You know, we, the, we, the number one, the coolest thing for us is when people we we fit well in people's lives, and it's a, like we don't go out of the way. They don't do anything special. We we end up being a puzzle piece that people didn't even know they, they were missing. Yeah. So once once people appreciate us, and it it becomes so easy to spread the word, especially through teams, yeah, which is definitely. why for our athletic angle, it's all we have to do is get to one teammate. Like yeah. right now we have we have Colts players that are using the Westfield facility. They're coming in training camp is right there. Same kind of convenience that you guys have. And for, for you guys, your body has to be your that's your job. You want yeah. to party the major part of your job is to be have your body in peak performance. Of course. So um, how far along are you now? What's your timetable? What are your thoughts? So th this past uh, actually Tuesday recently we had a game, a friendly game. So it was good for me in terms of just getting back. That was my first game in awesome. four months. Awesome. I was able to play. So looking forward to the Sunday at home, the first official game back. So yeah, that's awesome. It, it came four months now about after an injury. So that's awesome. Be able to do it. Yeah. This happens every day. Yeah, no every day. 
So as you can tell, like finding us is so difficult. It's yeah, so they crazy. Went to the Mc- it's because the address is over there. Over there yeah. And it's just like, if you don't know the area, it's such yeah. a silly city. Sort of it's all the, the same. Yeah. yeah. By the way, there's a Russian dentist right here. Yeah. That was, yeah. Yeah. Balaban. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. We, we were looking for something. Oh, yeah, he's right, literally you, this building in front there? of us. My dad does. Oh, nice. My dad, and almost, like, the, oh, almost the, the entire Russian community, community yeah. goes okay, there. We'll there's, go there's two of them around here, and he's one of them. Nice. Um, okay, so big deal. Um, anything else? Yeah, so if, if uh, you could make everybody on the planet make one change to change how they feel, what would yeah. you suggest it be? From your experiences, yeah. the stuff you've gone through, if you could get literally every human on the planet to make one change in their lives to feel better, what would it be? Yeah. For me, definitely um, to make like a little a change for yourself and then for the overall population in the world, I would just um, recommend starting from their own mindset, you know, their own psychological uh, cap- uh, ability to be able to change yourself, you know, like everyone has bad days. It's it's part of it, life, you know, it's nothing's so smooth. But if you're able to like quickly recover from that in your in your head and then see everybody, say, oh, man, he, he got back for, you know, he's positive like that, then it helps. That's kind fantastic. Like a, advice. Uh, it's fantastic advice. Yes. Look, man, it's perfect. This is the where you just went is exactly where we live. Like we, this is so much bigger than just a physical thing for us. And yeah. it, it's more of like, how do we add to people's lives? And like the thing you described, the number one catalyst for change. That's the number one catalyst. It's, it's mindset. And we have, so I don't know how much you know about us personally, but he used to be 378 pounds. Oh, wow. That guy right there sitting That's at crazy. 220. And yeah. it, it was a change in mindset that forced a shift. I used to be over 300 pounds, like 320 pounds. It was a mindset change that then helped me change the way I approached every day, the yep. way I exercise. I, I, we, we both have a very similar story. The timelines are a little off, but we both essentially retaught ourselves what it's like to take care of our body. Yeah. And it was actually from, from, from that that it turned into start, I started training people on the side because people wanted help. I lost a bunch of weight really quickly. So they're like, help me, help me. Right. Got a certification. But then most of the people were huge. They were 300 pounds. They were hurting all the time. Those are the people I was working with. Those are the people I related to the most. Yeah. And uh, most of my time was spent researching things that would make their life a little easier, like cryotherapy, like Normatech. Yeah. So there's a float place that opened. So I started sending all of them to the float place. And they were like, this is amazing. And there's a place that opened that did cryo. And I go, you should try that. And like all my clients went there. Like it turned into that. Yeah. And then eventually my wife and I had a talk. I was like, hey, there's just so many trainers. And none of these people appreciate me as a trainer because yeah. they're huge and they, they hurt. And uh, it made sense. So we made a shift oh. and we're here doing a podcast. Yeah, no, I didn't know Isn't that. that That's awesome. Man. Yeah. So Good the mind. Thanks, man. Well, the mindset, we, there was a, there's a shit ton of work in between. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. In that short version of the story. But it started with what you said. It started with what you said. That's where John and I connect on the most. Yeah, it's it's big picture mindset stuff. It's why it's why Melissa and Raymond work with us. It's 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 the reason. The, the those are the kind of people that appreciate that the first. Those right. are the people we work with the most. We oh, get along awesome. with the most. So it's awesome. Yeah, thank definitely. you for taking the time to do this. Yeah, thank you guys. It'll, it'll, this will be edited in like with probably you and Cryo and blah blah blah. Is there, okay. is there anything Perfect. you want to get out of your mouth? Into oh, yeah. the microphone, personally. Uh, yeah, you can. Phone, so. No, just uh, honestly, like a big thanks for you guys. Uh, Appreciate that. I mean, the professionalism is awesome. You know, like you go there and it feels feels like friendship, but at the same time, you know, you're getting quality, uh, like as a client. You know, yeah. So, so you go there as a friend, but you also feel like you're getting good, yeah, I mean, good. Uh, like, how do you say? Like, yeah, no, you, you know, get, yeah. No, listen, man, to I, I totally get it. Like the way right. you described is the thing that we focus on the most. And it's actually one of the things we discuss a lot now because we, we've shifted so much in our new dynamic that we need to make sure we never, ever, ever, ever lose that. Yeah. I, I not only need one, we have hundreds of members, but I need every single one of them, like desperately need every single one of them to feel that. Yeah. And if we didn't do that, if they're not going home and they, they don't have to come tell us, which was really cool for like, that makes us feel amazing. I can't tell yeah. you. Um, but I need, if all of them go home and say that, then we win. Yeah, of course. Then we'll just win. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right. Thank you so much for spending time at the recovery room today. 
We hope you were able to take something of value from what you heard that you can use to help yourself feel better faster. If you would like more information on the recovery room and what we offer, you can visit our website, www.recoveryroomusa.com. You can also find us on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Our handle is at Recovery Room USA. Thanks again for tuning in. And remember, how you feel matters.